So I see these voiceover videos are pretty popular right now. So hey, let's give it a go. All right, so today I'm gonna show you guys how to do some stuffing. You know, traditionally, you know, most people just bake some cornmeal, throw that jiffy in the pan, bake that thing on up. But today we're gonna do it a uh, traditional Southern style. We're gonna make some whole cakes, you know what I'm saying? So pretty much all I did was take some batter, you know, that same cornmeal batter, mix in some spices. Got them listed right here for you. Don't worry about how they look because we're gonna crumble it up anyway. Next, we're gonna go in and get out with that mirepoix. You know what I'm saying? Get that, gotta get the knife skills on, you know what I'm saying? So mirepoix, the technical term for mirepoix is gonna be the flavor basis for all soup stocks and sauces. That's gonna always include some onion, some peppers, some celery, or some carrot, some garlic, and I'm just sweating it down. All right, next, I'm just here nicely slicing up some onions. So what happened here, guys, is you know, I make stuffing once a year, you feel me? For Thanksgiving, that's it. Forgot to buy my cream of mushroom soup. You can't make it without it, but you know, so I'm making it from scratch. Knife skills on point. Had the employee look like, wow. But moving on. So we're gonna throw them in a the pan, get them caramelized in a little bit of oil, real light, you know what I'm saying? Next we're gonna grab us some herbs. Gotta keep them herbs on rotation and gotta know how to roll them things up real nice and tight, you feel me? Got some favorites, some sage, some rosemary, some thyme. Get up in that pot. <laughs> but nah, definitely add them, they add tons of flavor. All right, now we're gonna wash off our mushrooms. You see the difference, some things dirty, but you gotta wash mushrooms. All right, so next we're gonna slap these down in the pot, you know what I'm saying, saute these down, nothing too special. Next we're gonna slap in a little wine, even Jesus thought we needed more wine, you feel me? All right, we're gonna slap down some flour, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna mix it and you gotta make that roux, boo boo. Mix that flour in real good now. Now we're gonna add some chicken stock. I made mine's homemade, check plug. Cream is now going down. We're gonna let that simmer down for a couple minutes. All right, as you see now how nicely it's been simmering for 10 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and buzz that thing on down, you feel me? Mm, God, look at that soup, I need me a bowl. Next, get them whole cakes back in hand. Crumble them up real good. You want them small, not too big, big, not too small, you feel me? All right, next we're gonna sprinkle that mirepoix. We did it together. Now I'm adding in some turkey meat. I use turkey meat where a lot of people use pork because I like to keep my recipe generic so that everybody can get a little bit of Chef Kurt's tasteful loving, you feel me? Next, we're going down with this cream. Ooh, God, look, look at, whoo. Put another ladle up in there for him, Kurt. Kurt. Look at the decadent creaminess and the velocity that the mushrooms achieve while cooking down in the So now you just want to get everything mixed in really well. I don't know why I try to do this at first with a spoon, but hey, you know, uh, yeah, just get it mixed in real well. Make sure your oven's preheated to 350. You know, if you need to pour some stock on top of moisten it up, do that. We're just gonna bake it off for 25 minutes and then. Give me your card. Give me your Instagram. Give me your Snapchat. Give me your DJ. Nigga, Kurt. Yeah, yeah, Kurt. 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 Yeah, Kurt.